So I've played Duel Links for a very long time. But how easy is it to get back to the TCG? And with a budget of just £10 per episode? Let's see how easy it really is. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! on a Budget. Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! on a Budget. Uh, so this week we are going to be going forward with our plan on trying to pick up some Chronograph Sorcerers, Time Gauge, Magicians in the hopes of upgrading our deck with some smaller pendulums. But we're going to do it via packs, so we're going to go straight into a Legendary Duelist Magical Hero in hopes that maybe, just maybe, we get that Magician Souls. So, something happened while we were recording the packs. Uh, unfortunately, all of the video footage got corrupted which is kind of annoying however uh, i still have the packs as they were set out as i said we have only got six packs to open they are pretty decent price but it's still one of those ones of we have gone over by 50p just so we can get that last pack in so i'll show you what we've got just kind of one at a time just to kind of give you an idea of how what our what it gave to us. Now remember we're looking for Chronograph Sorcerer, we're looking for Time Gazer Magician if we want. There's a couple extra deck monsters as well, maybe some Synchros and Exceeds. And if we're really, really lucky, there might be Magician Souls in here. So first up we've got Junk Synchron. Uh, Jet Synchron, sorry. Uh, it's a really good card, but I just don't think we can play it. Spiral Flame Strike. It's a card based around Odd Eyes and Odd Eyes Pendulum. So we can't really play it because we don't have an Odd Eyes. We got the chronograph, so that's good. We actually got one upgrade for the deck. Go, 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 giant, and our rare this time is Zubaba Bancho Gagaga -ga -ga Coat, a card that we really just can't play. It's a warrior type, and yeah. That's kind of what you get when you're buying packs. It's that you can either get something really good that you want or something atrocious. So let's go over to this one. Dark Magical Circle. Maybe we could run Dark Magicians, I don't really know. Um, Illusion Magic is another Dark Magician card. Harmonizing Magician, uh, it's a tuner and a pendulum. So there's potential we could run it, I'm not too sure yet, so we'll pop that to that side. Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. Um, I don't think we can play this. I think this is kind of a card we just got on. Oh! I don't know why I'm trying to react like I didn't already know that that was there because I've already opened these packs. Yeah, we, we ended up with the Magician Souls. Um, I forgot, actually forgot which one they were out of all these ones they were. I was trying to keep the suspense. But yeah, Magician Souls already. So that's now the most expensive card we have in the collection by a long way. But let's keep going. So we've got Smile Action, Doppel Warrior... Miracle Fusion, <coughs> Mother Hollow, Dota Dwarf Go 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 Glove, and it was another Ultra Rare. It's the Dark Magicians. This is like the second most expensive card in the set. And again, it's hard to kind of take into consideration that yes, this is actually a genuine what we pulled from our six packs. Um, but this genuinely happened. They were the last six packs I could find. So I feel really sorry for the guy who bought the previous sets of packs because, let's face it, we just got the better end of the box. Uh, that's worth about 30 as well, but um, we have to work out whether or not we want to keep that or if we're going to sell stuff we don't need from packs. Uh, Pendulum Dimension, Dark Magician Girl. Again, we could maybe play this. Spiral Flame Strike, number F0, Utopic Future. Not a good card for us at all. And Future Driver card that is based around Utopic Future. Again, another card that's really not useful for us at all. Supreme King's Arc. Maybe one day we can find a way of summoning this, but I really doubt we would. By the time we do, we want it. Time Gazer Magician. Another card we wanted. Um, Harmonizing is nice. Perform Pal Popper Up. And a Super this time, which was Gaga Gaga Magician. It's really not great, but we have space, we've got level 4s, we can might as well just try and play it. And finally we have Magician's Rod, Black Rose Dragon, a card we could probably, we could potentially run if we do run um, Harmonizing Magician. So we'll put that to the side. Performer Power Pendulum Sorcerer, 
the OCG runs this, but they are also running a lot of the performer piles that we have banned. Smile action, and to finish off, we have Future Drive. So that was kind of the opening for our six packs. We got super lucky. Like, the chance of opening in six packs two Ultras is extremely low. And I'll be honest, I was kind of dumbfounded when I found that I was pulling double Ultra. Just because it just means the rest of that box was kind of bad. Especially when the box was, when we got the Souls and Dark Magicians. But let me know in comments or on Discord or whatnot. Whether we should keep the Dark Magician as kind of a fancy card that is for the collection, so then when we get down to the rest of the collection, we've got like a really nice card to show for it, or whether to sell it to then turn that into more cards for the deck. So leave those comments down and we'll get to deck creation. So this is what we've got now for our deck with our recent acquisitions. So of course we've added in our Magician Souls and our Chronograph and time gazer realistically what we've taken out for it is we've taken out the three mythical beast cerberus just because it just means we've got another two scale eight and we've got an easy special summon off of um, a load of effects as we only have to discard one level six monster to special summon this and, it has, and that special that uh, level six monster is from deck um, so we can send a total of one, two, three, four, five, six targets to the graveyard for Magician Souls to activate. And with Time Gazer, we have access uh, to his special summon as well. So we can actually chronograph, pendulum summon with chronograph, destroy chronograph, special summon Time Gazer from deck. So then we've got an extra extension. The final card we've added in as well, obviously, is our Gaga Gaga Magician. It's not terrific i will say that now i don't there isn't a lot of cards in the deck that will allow us to summon it uh, we only have six level fours in the entire deck and both of the well one of them is mainly used as a scale right now and the other one is kind of used as just a glorified um premature burial monster reborn style card but this is what the deck is looking right now. Other than that, there are no changes. Week three will probably do a lot more changes because we'll have a bit more time behind it. But let's push on in some games. Okay, so our first game of the day was a match against Metaphys, so it's a bit of an unknown play. But let's go straight into it. The hand we opened was pretty good. Um, I've got to turn off their board, so we didn't know. So it was Ascension, discarding to draw a Tyrant and discard. Desires for the draw too, so we got our scales there. Um, but of course, the major thing I wanted to do was try and make it so that we had the best possible board state as possible. So, playing Blue Boy now just to get the extra spell so we could get those counters up on Abductor as fast as possible. That was the key here. So we Pendulum Summon up, we play the Book of Power to get those counters. And this is where I realised I actually don't have to go any further because I was going to extend into... Um, I was going to extend, but we didn't need to. Lovely OTK finish though. It just shows to show that we can OTK without the extra deck with this. So our second game of the day was up against Salomon Greats. Um, they got the play, so we were playing second. Not always the best thing. So they do Salomon Great things, so they go... Up into Bay Link, start summon, get their Gazelle, put Roll in, go to Sunlight Wolf, summon the Exceed. I didn't realize how powerful Parallel Exceed was. Uh, I think it might be something we could play later on, but I'm unsure. Went into Baguska, the tired, the terribly tired Pate Tape here. This is a card that really threw me off because I didn't realize it affected a monster being summoned. So we lost the effect of uh, Blue Boy because I was trying to bait the effect of roar but the roar did magister we can't play our time gazer because we played it second we already have a monster and so they keep going up through the scale so they get to uh, foxy wolf wolf triggers grabbing more cars getting to transco talker making gazelle this is kind of just how solomon great does it says so one card pop Bringing the Falco back, making the update jammer, making Axis Co Talker. So now it can attack twice. And gains the link bonuses. 
blowing up the entire board and attacking me for 10k. Access Code Talker is insane, and it might be something we have to aim for at some point down the line. So let's have a look at what we've got from this week. The Magician Souls is really good as an as like an extender for us and as a starter for plays. We need better targets realistically for the sacrifice, so maybe another Chronograph Sorcerer would be quite nice. Also, finding Time Gazers stuck in hand is a little bit of an issue, but that's kind of what we're going to have, when, especially when it comes to um, Garnets in our deck, and Time Gazer is definitely a Garnet. The other problem we have as well is, as we noticed, especially against our Solomon Grape Day um, game, we don't have a lot of extra deck, and if we get knocked out of our extra de uh, out of our pendulum summon, we're kind of stuck spinning our wheels. So we ended up with a blue with a with a magician of prophecy with nothing else to do. So we do definitely need to get some extra decks, and I think that's going to be the next thing on our list is to make sure we have a little bit more of a solid play going in with our extra deck. The other problem, the problem with that though, is that. Some of the cards we are going to need are extremely expensive for our budget. We are looking at certain cards that will take the entire episode's worth of budget. Others take over half of it. So we're going to have to try and wheel and deal a little bit, see what we can get, and hopefully come away with something relatively solid ready for next episode. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.